cars that now the distance stuff are being pulled and I know some of the stuff is related to like guys are driving too low we can't go back on that but I think some of the some of the cars must just be like be reasonable I think be reasonable there is a lot of traffic office I, I can vouch you in Boston by that is very reasonable but you get to a certain aspect that you you have to take on the person because why you're driving too low yeah, yeah that, is, that is always a touchy subject for me because I've been advocating for um, the stance community for the past, you know, I don't even know, six years. Really. Yeah. I've been fighting against this cause of yeah. us being sort of, uh, or we feel like we're being targeted. targeted yeah. And um, then as, you know, as you progress and you go through the motions and you try to understand like why it happens, yeah. then you actually see that there are two sides to a story. So, yes. So, what we do as stances is we just think of ourselves and we sort of just believe that we are right. Yes, you know what I mean? But in actual fact, we're not completely well. We're not 100% right. Yeah, because we have to also look at the other side. Because of I thing. see uh, some of the law states like you can't have straight tires, you tie your rim mustn't be outside your wheel. And I feel like if you go to a show, rather put your wheels in the car and do it by the show. Yeah. And when you've done the show, take it off because you know you're gonna get heat for it. Because I know that something they're looking at now is stretch tires, yeah. rims that's outside yeah. your arches. If your car is too low, then they, you're gonna have trouble. Because why these days it's just not about you have to have three different strikes to get your disc pool. Yeah. It's just like one bad move and then you just get that. Yeah, because I think traffic officers are fed up. Man. Yeah. They're at the point where they're like, look here, you people don't want to listen to us. You don't want to give us a chance to also tell you why we are doing what we're doing. Exactly. We're and too the, quick to jump on and, them. And, and, and what I said the last time in one of the videos is, the traffic officers is not the to be a principal of the road. Mm. You know what is right and wrong. Mm. Because while I have a lowered car, but I keep it to a certain distance that like I to a certain height that I know I'm not going to get into trouble because yeah. at the end of the day we all love a car that looks sexy and a car that is unique but at the end of the day you must still be law abiding because why you don't want to get the hit yeah and look <laughs> here are some of the police now already pulling someone yeah. off okay, but that's a, that's a stock standard car I mean there should be nothing wrong in terms of no, it's a bit but of, that could be one of us you know yeah. that could be one of us yeah. um, and yeah, so that's the thing. Like we have to accept that these people are every day going out of their house and they're going to do a, a job. Yeah. Just like I'm going out of my house to do a job. job yes. There's requirements, there's rules that yeah. I have to follow. They are doing the same thing. They're going out of their houses, they're doing the job that they get paid to do. Yeah, they're and basically they going to, to work for their families to put food on a table. Exactly. And that's the same thing I said in the video before that is a lot of the stance people is providing for the families that's out there that doesn't have food yeah. or what's thinking of what I'm going to eat tonight, what am I going to do tonight. Yeah. A lot of the guys are helping that people in need. But at the end of the day, I think we all must just keep it on the down low. And I know it's a difficult pill to swallow, but at the end of the day, you don't want to go through all that nonsense of going through a road to a test. Um, now taking out your, your suspension, yeah. putting suspension back, exactly. going through all that PT, I mean, at the end of the day, you're going to get to a certain aspect that you're going to say, yeah, I'm fed up with this yeah. now. So let's rather just work together with the police as all the traffic, then going through that of 
doing that same thing over exactly. and over and over. And I know there's gonna be people like Tiara, Jaina, I sometimes I get so upset with my own kind. Yeah. Because that first means uh, but they're obviously obstropolis yeah. And they're gonna they're gonna sort of just be like, no, but they're not gonna tell me da 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 I'm um, just gonna do my own damn thing. You that get is, that a lot. That is exactly the you, people you get that, a lot. that makes it difficult for all of us, the rest of us that are trying to get to a compromise. Yeah. You know what I mean? So all we want to basically say to those people is just think of the consequences of your actions. Exactly. And just think of how accommodating law enforcement could be if we cooperate. Yes, if you cooperate with, with, with law enforcement, then it's going to work to get, like I said to a traffic officer, I'm not going to name I told him like, if we work together, we can achieve so much more. Yeah. Because why you not above the law. And the same aspect is the person that drives the car is also not above the law. Yeah. You have a law book, you have to follow that law book, yeah. and that is that. But at the end of the day, we must get work together I to love have... I Honda, by the way. Very nice one, yeah. I love that Honda. And we must all work together to have, or to come to a conclusion of what we can do. Exactly. So, because now with the... I know that the stance is not a crime. Like, I'm an advocate for hashtag yeah. stance is not a crime. Yeah. I absolutely think that it's an appropriate thing to do I think that the, the the thing that I'm most against is the way that we execute yeah so who was the fear to get home with basically the tool man yeah the implement exactly and that is what what I have a problem with so I'm, I'm for the hashtag stance for is not a crime movement but just we need to think about how do we do the things that we do how do we go about Voicing our concerns. Yes. Do we go to the local councillor or do we go to the? Do we firstly do we know the rules? Yeah. The I think. The I law. think what we should do. I think at the end of the day is we have to educate ourselves with the law book. And I have the app on my phone. Mm. And sometimes it's just it's mind boggling of that act because why? What is good for the ghost is good for the goat. Yeah. And what I mean about that is. Something that's not that good for me is that there's a problem with a lowered car. And I had this argument with, with someone now the other day. You have a problem with a lowered car, but a bucky that drives past you with big ass wheels, with a lifted kit, yeah. you don't have a problem with that. Yeah. So in my mind is it there is a two different option on it. Because why a bucky that has a lifted kit that's also tempered with suspension. Yeah. That's not the standard because why, although you're beefing up your suspension and saying yeah but it's better Yeah, coilovers are also better You get, you get VC coilovers, you get, I think it's Bellstein coilovers, you get mm. FK coilovers yeah. um, There's different types of coilovers yeah. out on the market that's much more or much better than standard coil or standard springs on your car Exactly I mean there's billions and billions of brands and billions and billions of dollars spent on this technology to improve yeah. Improve the ride on your car, and also technically, the only thing that is required is that your car is SAB approved, and yeah. all of the parts in it is SAB approved. Yeah. Now, if you're telling me that you have a coilover that is SAB approved and also fitted by someone that is approved yeah. by, let's say, what's this thing called, this manufacturing? Yeah, the SAB is approved. Yeah, all of that stuff. Now then. What are we arguing about? Do yeah. you know what I mean? What is what is it that you that you are actually fighting against? Is it just a case of we just don't want you guys to do it at all? Yeah. Or is it a case of we don't understand our own end? Yeah. We don't we don't actually understand what we are enforcing, but we're just being told that this is what we need to do. Look, do you get what I'm I can I can I can vouch for a few officers that I know that knows the act very well because of some of them are also. Yeah inspectors of course so they can basically inspect your car as yeah. cars on the road and I personally know one guy I'm not gonna mention that we speak a lot and he gives me a lot of like intel like what you should do what you should not do and I normally tell the guys guys please don't do this mm. please do this because at the end of the day you're just making it difficult for yourself yeah. I told the other brother now the other day Bro, please don't put straight tires on your car because why you are gonna get problems. Mm. Because why this is something they're looking at now. Because why I understand that straight tire looks very nice. Looks nice yeah. But Let's at the end honest. of the end, but at the end of the day, we must also think 
that stretch tire that you have on your car can cost your life at the end of the day as well because I, even on a normal tire I, we, I know I'm gonna get probably gonna get hit for this but a stretch tire if anything happens and that thing comes off the wheel anything like that because that thing is so stretched at the end of the day you're driving at the speed of 100 120 what you're gonna do at the end of the day that thing can cost your life at the end yeah. of the day so probably is just safety reason why the traffics are also doing what they are doing at the moment but I think we must also work together mm. but let's not work against each other because why it's not gonna resolve the the problem we're having That's right now like fighting fire with and fire. then the other problem I, I told you the other, other day is the guys that's like hooligans on the normal public roads oh, no, like don't, spinning don't, don't, don't start, yeah. and doing just what is not supposed to be done on public roads and you know I'm, guys I'm not gonna be funny or anything like that but the thing is if I see someone spinning in any public road you can now say I'm a pimper or whatever but I am gonna report you because at the end of the day any small child or anyone can walk into that road you are spinning doing your mad stuff that you are doing mm. and at the end of the day that people can get hurt yeah the only thing you're gonna say oh sorry Oh, sorry, can cost someone's life, mm. and it's very, very dangerous and reckless, guys, to do something like that on the public roads. If you want to do do that, get a, a road that's closed, that you have supervision, you have you have uh, authority to do that from law enforcement or whoever, and go mad. Mm. Then we don't have a problem with that. But spinning on public roads in a residential area, it doesn't make I've sense. I've always said this. I have but people dislike me for saying that stuff but it's the truth because it's irresponsible okay firstly you are a child yeah. if you do that stuff you don't have a brain that's in my opinion because if you had a brain you would have thought about what the consequences are of your actions so like why man why I would I would just like to know for that how many ever seconds, because it takes you less than a minute to do that stuff, yeah. right? So for that, let's say hypothetically 40 seconds or 50 seconds that you yeah. are busy spinning. What do you gain from it? That is my question. What, what do you gain? You're not getting richer. You're not getting any sort of... The only thing that you're getting is someone making a video of your car and maybe posting it on Instagram or on Facebook and that's it. And then you... Anyway, you're gonna get targeted because now you're on social media. Yeah. So you you actually just getting negativity attached to it. There's no positive thing to it unless you are doing it for a cause. Yeah. Like if there's a charitable cause that they have exactly. um, got an approval from the council to say we're gonna do the specific thing. Yeah. Can we? Then it, it's understandable. But yeah, why? I, don't, I just don't understand. I don't, I don't get it. It's very dangerous because, well, like I said again. Just a small mistake can cost someone's life. Yes. Because you don't you don't know if you have full control of that car. Exactly. You know, do you actually can you control the car with something? Or unless, if you tire bus? Yeah, and unless you are a professional guy that knows a yeah. girl that knows what they are doing. And there is a lot of professionals in Muscle Bay that knows a lot about spinning. Yeah. And big ups to them because why they normally provide a lot of people that you need yeah but those are spinners yeah they know like what they they're are doing. in the spinning fraternity yeah. it's what they do yeah but we're talking about the people that are just not normal yeah like, like normal me or you that's like going taking my little car and going, going to stand in this road and just spin that that is just not and now the traffic comes to you and then you say, ask when you're what you're doing oh sorry man yeah i know i didn't know I, I didn't it's know what to late. do but at the end of the day you know what you were doing Exactly. So please guys just be vigilant of what you are doing on public roads. I think that's one of the biggest hazards that we have. I think we all love cars. Oh yes. I love cars from love like a little toddler, I love cars. And it's through hard work and perseverance that I, I'm driving what I'm driving mm -hmm. today. This is my dream and this is one of my dreams I achieved and I have so bigger you're basically plans. driving my dream. Yeah, that's, that's, my, what you, that's what you're saying now. You're driving, you're driving my dream. I'm, I'm basically, I'm, I'm going to put it out here. My dream car, if I can say it like that, is a GTR. GTR, that car I probably will see in the vlog or on the channel like in the next two to three years and it will be my car. That's a vision I'm working towards. Yeah. And 
it's just to entertain people and to for all the viewers out there to yeah. entertain them because why it's my car at the end of the day but i also want to showcase it to everyone outside and if there's a subscriber or anything anyone that comes across me i'll give you a ride gladly because why and even also just waking up in the morning knowing that you're getting into a gtr like I, I i'm just thinking now like as you're talking i'm thinking to myself if i must get up in the morning every morning and I know when I'm going to the key cabinet yeah. and I get a GTR key I will lose my freaking mind every morning like just that the whole thing man you know yeah. and and the fact that you've worked hard to get it yeah that's the thing that is like the best ever and they so, say hard oh, work pays off yeah exactly doesn't so. matter where you work doesn't matter what you do if you hustle in life if you hustle very hard in life you can achieve anything anything that's the thing and guys that's just some of the points and that's just some of the points we are talking about and discussing about that we just think that at the end of the day it can make a huge difference if we talk to one each other yes. if we talk to law enforcement if we talk if you see something done wrong in the road yes don't yell at the guy or shout at the guy and swear at the guy that's not gonna cause any any conclusion or any in fact, it's, yeah. it's gonna make it worse. Yeah, it's gonna make it worse. So just be nice to this person and say, okay, this is wrong what you're doing. Um, you're a big person, you're a doll. Please just behave yourself. Admit that you're wrong. Yeah, just just behave yourself. Because you know, say, bitch, I fuck you. Yeah. Okay, say, bitch, I fuck you. So don't even try to deny it. Yeah, that's at the end that's of the day. Just take responsibility. Yeah, that's it. And maybe the they will be kind enough to say, okay. Yeah. You go this time, but just okay, maybe this will get it 2005. But you knew that yeah. you know you were gonna get something, yeah. So I'm just and guys, also, you can follow Ready Bees for Tuesdays and Thursdays, Mondays and Thursdays, or for seven on Instagram, yeah. That, and that's that's a very nice show because why you discuss a lot of things that happen in every day, and a lot of people are finding their way in that show because why you're giving such information to the people out there that they can basically put it into their own lives and do stuff like yeah. how they think. My phone, like, my, my phone, what can I do? This is someone that's looking at the show now. <laughs> <laughs> but the next time I think we should do it live or we should ask people quest questions. What, or they must ask us questions. What I, do think they think? What they, I think what they can do the owner the thing you must know now yeah as a comment box yes no? that's called a comment box yeah now comment box is there for people to type comments Timing, yeah but so much it's a video but it's a bloody comment box yeah. like sometimes you'd say type a comment in the comment then they're like what's the box? What, what the, what's, what's a comment box yeah so type the comment that you want to type or that you want to say in the comment box tell us how you feel because we're not we're not saying that everything that we're saying is 100 percent accurate yeah right so there are gonna be people that's gonna differ in opinion with yes, us exactly. which is fine it's okay um if you differ in opinion with me i can accept that mm -hmm. and if i'm wrong i will say that yeah, I'm, wrong. I'm wrong but it's it's an open discussion it's a conversation yeah. that we must have and all of us need to take part in that conversation yeah. in order for us to get to a, a plausible conclusion, conclusion at the end of the day. Yes, true. so comment in the comment box below um and we will have a look at the comments because obviously i am not on your youtube yeah. so i can't <laughs> <to> comment <laughs> sorry can you help me um you'll have a look at the comments but at the end of the day when we get together you i'll show you the comments and we will respond on the comments yes, absolutely. the guys are asking Absolutely, we'll do that because that is the one thing that, and I mean, this is not gonna, this is not the one sort of thing. This yeah, is this is gonna happen every, every, every second. Week. So we and are we gonna are gonna do it. Sometimes we're gonna are gonna do it live. Yeah. So we're gonna so, discuss a lot of stuff. Yeah. So guys, this is just the beginning of me and Lady B doing yep. the lab and just doing a type of podcast, if you can say it, but our own way in our South African way is yes. where we're sitting on a on a desk and just talking. So. This is just the way that we're gonna do something. This is the best way. Yeah, this is raw and I mean, I'm sitting in a freaking Mark 6, Mark 7 GTI. Okay, like that's the best way for me. Yeah. So it's for you, it's not something special for me. Okay, my body is like <laughs> dancing right now. But yeah, it's, it's exciting. So I'm looking forward to it. So I think, guys, do like, do subscribe, and be safe out there, protect yourselves. Yes. I think throw throw your 
closing thing there for the guys. Yo, imagine I must do it. <laughs> I can do it because it's not an issue, but I mean like well first thing first things first. I just wanna say this quickly. People always say like and subscribe. No? Yeah. But then people don't like and they don't subscribe. Now I wanna ask the question man, who go like Jenny and who go subscribe Jenny? Yeah. What is the problem with just pressing a button? Because Jay it clack click up your video. You already clicked on this video yeah. to watch it. So all you can do is go to the bottom, well not the bottom right hand corner, but like in the right hand corner there's a little button that says yeah. subscribe. It's a red button. Like yeah. you just click on it guys, it's not this stuff, it's not rocket science. You don't have to, we don't ask you to build a submarine. Okay, so just yeah. click on the damn subscribe button. That's it. Um, okay, so you want me to do the outro? Yeah, do the outro. <laughs> I think it's going to be something cool. <laughs> okay. Um, <coughs> So, ladies and gentlemen, all I want to say is stop sleeping late. Okay, you people are always sleeping late, and I don't understand this. This is the question that I had for yeah. such a lot of people: is why do you sleep late? Because Jay Slap, you're here and leave for home. Like yeah. everything goes past your life, and Jay Slap set your alarm for four o'clock and get your ass up and just get done for work and do the stuff that you need to do. Okay, you all need to be hygienic and clean yourselves. Okay, Vasila, underarm on. Just be hygienic guys because if you sit in the bus or public transport and you smell, it's an embarrassment to you and your family, okay? And your friends. I'm about your kin. Had work in Jakarta. So don't do that. Be hygienic. Don't leave your dishes in the sink. Don't do it. Because maggots and cockroaches and all of these things grow in there. Don't leave it in there. It's nasty. Okay? You nasty. Most importantly, you all need to all love one another. Okay? Leave the bullshit. Stop arguing with each other. Stop the noise stop all that stuff and that's basically now because nobody after that i would say <laughs> and that is it for me thank you for joining <laughs> <laughs> but be safe out there guys peace till the next peace. one